for tonight's movement call, we would talk a little bit more about the reflection for 2022. Um, and we can relate it to movement or if we have goals that are, you know, more specific to nutrition, maybe whatever outcome, but Lisa and I kind of talked about this on the live in the Facebook, but I think it's good to talk about here and kind of like take the discussion a little bit further. So Christy was asking us to reflect on 2022 and kind of look back and see, you know, look at our processes and kind of go back and rediscover what our wins were. And when we had those wins, what were the things that we were doing to get the wins that we had? So Julie, I know you've had a lot of wins, obviously me being your coach, I know, um, you know, with being able to move out of pain. So it's like going back and looking at, okay, well, what did you do to get there to be super successful there? Um, or, you know, the pants at Disney, what were the things that you were doing? Like being able to fit into an old pair of jeans, like what were you doing, looking at your processes and how consistent were you? What were you doing? What actions were you putting into place? And then, you know, by going back and reflecting and looking on those things can help us set us up for success for our goals in 2023. So to like give an example, one of my movement goals for 2023 is to get back to being able to do pull-ups. I used to be able, that's like an outcome, right? Like that's what I want to happen for my movement goal. Um, I used to be able to do them. I'm like this far away from getting one, um, but I'd love to be able to string together like five. And, you know, I went back and look and I'm, I know that was a goal of mine a couple of times in, in 2022, but I didn't really prioritize it. Um, so it makes sense why I didn't get there. And it's not something I'm like beating myself up for because I didn't, I didn't practice it. So if I know I didn't practice it, I can't necessarily be mad that I didn't reach said goal. So this year I'm really going to practice getting back to doing the pull-ups, doing some negative pull-ups to get there. So some of the action steps I'm going to do is like adding that into the beginning of a lot of my upper body days so that I'm actually practicing it um, rather than just like hoping and wishing it happens. So I thought by going back and maybe us kind of looking at our processes, if we do have new movement goals for 2023, or we're continuing what we're doing, um, because there's nothing wrong with that either, continuing on the same goal, if you already are clear as to what that is. But I think how Christy framed it was a really good way to like simplify it and look at it where, okay, if we want a specific outcome, what are the action steps that we have to take in order to get there? And by laying out the process and kind of enjoying the process, which Marlena, you do really well, I think by setting the monthly goals, um, that way it's kind of breaking it down into smaller chunks. So, you know, my example for the pull up, maybe I need to focus on like, what is my monthly goal for January? Getting one pull up. And then maybe for February, it's getting two to three pull-ups. So really breaking it down, um, making it seem not as big because going from zero to five sounds kind of like a lot. Um, but eventually I want to be able to do that. So I thought we could talk about like, do we have our movement goals? Do we have any movement wins from 2022? Um, and how are we going to achieve some of these new goals in 2023? Terry, I know you're starting to do more strength training and Julie. You too, now that you're back, or you're back from Disney, right? Yeah, we're definitely back from Disney and I'm still recovering. We all got, well, three out of four of us got sick. So Harmony's still running a fever of like 100, 101, 102. Oh, wow. Yeah, poor I might have to take her to the doctor tomorrow, but, <laughs> but yeah, she caught something on our way back. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, my movement goal is to start lifting more weights and getting stronger. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at planning that out. So I would start to, and, um, I think Christy mentioned this on the Sunday call is making it like a smart goal. So making it a bit more specific, like, where do you want to get stronger? Like, basically, Christy always asks, like, how will you know when you get there? So it's like, can, do you want to be able to squat X, Y, Z pounds? Do you want to be able to, um, I don't know, 
dumbbell press a certain Julie, you might be squatting because I know that that was something that you wanted to do. Hang on, I'm helping my husband find something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nasally. I, feel like I'm I think a lot of people have that cold in the flu. Them all. So, yeah. I'm, missing I'm, more I got four pair. I'm popping all the vitamins that I possibly can. So, but I yeah. can still getting nasally. Yeah, my husband had the cold for like two weeks. He's fine now, but. But, um, yeah, my goal is to start back into strength training and it's the strength training, the eight week program that Marlene and I did, I don't know, three years ago, maybe even longer than that. It was last year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay okay last year <laughs> it feels like that it feels like it was long. I think it was at the beginning of 21 because it was the beginning of 21 I, I've done it yeah I've done it twice I like it um but I think it was the beginning of 21 wasn't it Terry? it might have been because I think um <laughs> Leah coach Leah was telling me to get 15 and 20 pound weights and I'm like lift that much <laughs> and then I bought them only to get heavy and get get Tori and Tori's like yeah quit lifting weights and then at the end of this year I kind of said I'm gonna lift some weights <laughs> so not heavy weights I'm not I mean I'm not gonna get 20 pounds I think will probably be my heavy goal so be able to do 20 pounds on like certain exercises yeah you know like and all of it will be at home mm -hmm. like on my yoga mat or on my exercise mat so I mean okay. so I'm just going to do the eight, the eight week program from way back when I think I might have done that one before too and then Marlena was doing and I'm like I'll do it with you so, so yeah, so I'm back to, I'm back to doing that again. <laughs> so that's my goal is to, and incorporate, um, summatory exercises in like do the strength training and then do like 15, 20 minutes of Tory exercises. So just okay. keep them incorporated. So a mix. Yeah. All right. So Terry's okay. goal is to get back to the strength training, work her way up to 20 pound dumbbells in the eight week strength training program. So, um, specific measurable, um, in a year's time or I don't know. Um, I bet not you right away. There, I, I bet you could get there in a few months. Mm -hmm. What are you starting at an eight? You no, said? five. I'm starting out at five pound weights and I have eights and tens. So there's going to be certain exercises in the eight week program where, you know, probably if you're doing shoulder things or some chest stuff, I mean, naturally that's like they're smaller muscles, a little bit weaker, but maybe if you're doing something like a squat, um, you know, you might be able to go heavier sooner on those just because you're using like bigger muscle groups. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, starting out at five and then gradually working your way up where you're like, all right, this basically like, you know, weight is really easy. If you can do all of the reps and you're like, and you're not like, you're not like, okay, I'm not challenged. Like you're like, that was easy. Like not out of breath. You know, it's a good weight when you're like doing your last few reps and you're done and you're like, like breathing heavy, you got that heavy breathing going on, you know, that you worked hard, um, not so hard that you're like, you know, falling over or anything, but challenging enough to make you have to kind of stop and get your breath or where you're going up, you're doing those reps and you're kind of pumping out the last few, the last one's hard, you finish. And then as how you can kind of gauge your intensity of, of your workouts. And then, you know, if you're like, all right, powering through these real quick, then you know it's too light. 
which I feel like a lot of us doubt our own strength sometime because we're like, we pick up five pound dumbbells, but a lot of us, well, a lot of you guys have had kids that you can hoist up and carry around, throw around, throw in a diaper bag. I know we've all carried groceries in, in one trip and one time or another, if we can, just not to have to take a second trip. I know I've done that, but, um, you know, sometimes we surprise ourselves. Yeah. Harmony's 23 pounds. So, and I carried her a lot at Disney I bet and you. I think that's why I'm still recovering pain wise in my hip. Mm -hmm. We're cutting in and out here. I think you're back there. Maybe that'll make it better. Yeah. My, my, front of my hip I actually messaged Tori about it she had, had 10 hundred questions for me but um That's my my hip and my lower back <laughs> um but I did some stretches and that seemed to help so but I carried her a lot mm -hmm. we all did <laughs> yeah so that's definitely, I mean, tiring and it was challenging. I mean, 23 pounds, you carrying her in, I'm sure awkward positions. Cause you having to like hold her, hold her back, hold her under her butt. Like, you know what I mean? Like carrying around a, a child like that. The best way to carry her for me is to put her kind of like she's in a front pack and just put my hands underneath her bottom Mm -hmm. and hold her like she's in the front of me instead of on my hip because if when I hold her on my hip it makes it hurt more so oh. that's the best way but then my lower back hurts because I have so much 23 extra pounds on the front of me and I have weak a weak core and weak glutes because I haven't been doing any exercises well I've been doing some exercises but not enough to really strengthen those so mm -hmm. that's where I need to that's my goal is to work on that stuff to strengthen my core and glutes so that I, my body's more in alignment. Yep. And I mean, everything stems from the core. So having a stronger core will help everything else. So that's something we can work on, Julie. We'll have to connect so we can get the, the next phase of some strength in. Um, worked in with the Tori exercises. Yes. Marlena, do you have a movement goal for 2023 yet? Or are you continuing? I know we've talked, <laughs> but I, I actually do. Um, so if I reflect over the last year, I would say my goal was consistency. Um, just because I tend to go like a couple of months at the beginning of the year um, really well, and then it kind of drops off. So that was my goal for this, this year was just to be consistent. And I had a step goal and I already reached the step goal. So that's check. <laughs> and um, so for the next year, so what I really wanna do, and it's kind of a bucket list item, that I probably won't do next year, but maybe the year after is, I wanna go on um, a really big hike uh, <laughs> to, the top of the, to the top of the mountain. I wanna summit at the top of the mountain. Okay. Um, and it's, it's big. And so I was talking to Leah about it and I, I told her, I think this year, I do wanna have some hiking goals. Um, I haven't decided exactly like specifically which hikes but just to increase distance and increase elevation and kind of get a little bit stronger in my upper body because it's going to require some scrambling you know up rocks and stuff where you have to pull okay. yourself oh, and wow. so, <laughs> yeah it's not just all in the legs and so when you get to the top you kind of have to use some some upper body strength and I think if I can get stronger throughout this year that might be a something that we can do next year like next like in the spring of 24 is 
kind of when I would want to do it. Okay. So even with spring 2024, you can kind of set, well, and you're awesome at this, but you know, (laughs) setting Mm -hmm. like monthly, maybe mileage goals or monthly like hikes where, um, well now Marlene is doing Tori exercises. So Tori exercises are definitely (laughs) part of the process in, you know, completing that. So maybe working with Leah to create a game plan or you, you guys putting your heads together for a monthly mileage distance, um, terrain goal that way yeah. people are getting introduced to all the elements that are going to be on that type, <laughs> of, uh, that type of hike. Cause that's intense being able, having to like pull, pull yourself up. Um, yeah. But pretty, and that's probably like that's probably what scares me the most because the hike, I mean, it's a doable hike up until a certain point, mm-hmm. and then it gets a little bit difficult. And so, I want to take my son with me as well, so he's gonna have to get in on this too. <laughs> you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. we usually hike together anyway, so whatever we're practicing, um, we're doing it together. But But yeah, that's, he's been talking about it and I want to do it. And we have a person in mind who can help us get up there. And she, she guides people up there all the time. Okay. I think she's done it like 20 times, but it's, it's a lot longer than what we're used to. I think the longest hike we've done is four miles. And this one, I think it said it was six or seven, but the elevation gain is what is the hardest we've only we've only gone up to i think like 700 elevation gain and this is <laughs> sounds crazy <laughs> but it's 1300 so it's it's a Double. really yeah or did you say 7000 or 700 and this one's 1300 wait wait no it's it's 3000 Elevation gain, three thousand one hundred. Oh, from wow. the trailhead to the top. It's some. It's those mountains that I always post pictures of. Oh, so it's the one that you're always like posting pictures of. This is trails around it that you're usually doing. Yeah, we're just doing the bottom trails. We're staying down low, so this one's going up higher. But someday. Like I said, it's a bucket list thing and I need to be strong enough to do it. So I was going to say that that's ever going to happen is if I start trying something. Yeah. And I'm sure that that girl can give you more guidelines as to like some of that upper body stuff to be able to do to be able to pull yourself up. Getting pull ups would definitely be helpful and gripping that type of terrain obviously is like way different than gripping you know, pull up bar or something like that. Yeah. So grip strength as well. Grip strength. I think you can yeah, do there's it. A lot. There's a lot to learn. <laughs> You're going to have to go rock climbing. Yeah. yeah. There's, <laughs> or a rock there's climbing actually, wall. Yeah, there's a rock climbing wall at the university. I just have to get a membership. That's and what I would they, suggest is a rock climbing wall and learn to use climb. your legs while you're climbing because you'll need that strength from your legs to help you boost yourself yeah so I don't think you'll be hanging on any rocks no (laughs) it's It's not like repelling okay it's more so it's like up like this so you're gonna have to kind of pull and push yeah like big big boulders and stuff like that Okay. okay then yeah I agree with Julie Definitely good practice. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, rock got- climbing wall would be the perfect place to do that. Yeah, and that that'll build your good. arm strength. That, that'll build all the muscles you need for that. <laughs> yeah. I've never done one before, a rock climbing wall. I've been wanting to. I just haven't. I mean, I haven't. I haven't, haven't done, done it either, but 
None of us have. I don't like heights, so. Um, it, no heights for you, Julie? <laughs> no. I don't even like to stand on a, I don't even like to stand on a chair, let alone climb a rock wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny, Julie. <laughs> um, the Ferris wheel was fun at Disneyland. Harmony didn't like that either. <laughs> You guys are like, get us down. All right. So we all got some, we all have some movement goals in our future for 2023 and beyond. Um, and, you know, we kind of started to talk about the process to get there. Now it's kind of using like our fit me best practices where Christy's like, okay, put it in your calendar, take it, take the time to kind of make it like time bound. When do you want to be able to accomplish X, Y, Z? So if I want to be able to accomplish one, one pull up in the month of January, how often do I need to be doing pull ups? How am I progressing those pull ups? Like get really specific about it because I think the more specific you get, you know the exact steps that you need to take to get there. And if you don't talk to your coach, obviously, if you guys are listening to the replay and you're getting ideas, thinking about your movement goals, um, and you're not quite sure where to start, definitely talk to your coach. You guys can always reach out to me. I'm really happy to help. Um, you know, as much as as much as I can. Um, um yeah, as, as long as you get specific and really focus on like the journey and enjoying the process, focusing on the outcome, you know, it'll come sooner than you expect because you're enjoying it. You're focusing on how you're progressing over time versus focusing only strictly on like, I have to be able to do one pull up and then like overthinking everything and not actually executing on it. Where if we set the process up, and how we're going to get there and we get super clear about that, then accomplishing the goal becomes easier, you know, than having no plan going into it and just hoping for the best, which is honestly what I was doing for the, the pull up. And you see, I haven't gotten there yet. So have to get super specific with it. <laughs> All right, guys, do you have anything else to add? No, just good. Julie, tell Harmony happy birthday tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I will. Unfortunately, we can't do anything. She's got a fever. Yeah. It's, I just yeah. checked it's 100.3. So hopefully we'll do cake on Christmas Day when the whole family's here. So good. that gives her a few more days to recover. And if she's still running a fever tomorrow, I'm taking her to the doctor. So oh, good luck. Because it'll be like day number six. So, oh. Yeah. Well, we hope she feels better. <laughs> like I said, three three of us ended up sick. I don't feel good. My other daughter, Hannah, is sick. Um, she's been out of work. She actually goes back to work Thursday, I think. Finally, so it's just we just all got sick. <laughs> being around all the people. So I have a question. Yeah, being around all the people. Can you hear my husband talking in upstairs? A little bit, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's not as loud to me as it is on here. Mm -hmm. I, can hear okay. it. I can hear what you're saying, but I can hear talking. He talks loud, so. <laughs> but he's cute. So you keep him around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's for sure. Don't, don't let him so. hear that. <laughs> oh, I tell him that all the time. Oh. <laughs> You want to come here and say hi? You want to say hi real quick? Hi, Harmony. Hi. 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 Happy birthday tomorrow. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not a happy I feel birthday. the same way tomorrow, too. Yeah. No, I'm not getting older. <laughs> it's going to be two. Yeah. Two. You're going to be two? I'm going to be 62. <laughs> she's like what <laughs> <laughs> you say it looked like her eyebrows went yeah hmm? <laughs> it's funny 
She says, I'm sick. I don't feel good. I don't want to talk. Yeah, her cheeks are red. You can tell she doesn't feel good. Yeah. So. All right, Harmony. Well, you feel better. And Julie, hey, good luck. <laughs> yeah. And happy birthday, Terry. Thanks. Hey, Terry, your birthday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow's your birthday. Oh, yeah, it's tomorrow's birthday. Terry's birthday too. Oh, well, That's birthday. how I remembered harmonies. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's just trying to slide it by. She's like, Harmony. <laughs> oh, you yeah, know. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Terry. Thank you. You're All right, ladies. Have an awesome okay. rest of your night. And we will be back next week. Well, actually, we won't be back next week. Next week's Christmas. I keep forgiving. So oh. no movement call next week. The next one will be in January. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Have a happy Christmas, everybody. Yes. Bye. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. <laughs>